Hi guys, Nick here. So recently I made a switch from being a filmmaker to a game developer and it's been a crazy six months so far. Um, I've released four games and um, two of which are on Steam. There would have been three on Steam but <clears throat> one of them got banned and today I'm making this quick video about how I already <clears throat> made a game that got banned on Steam, why I got banned and how it's affected me and what I want to do about it uh, because I don't think there's many videos out there about <coughs> games getting banned um, at an independent level because uh, obviously if it's a big game gets banned yeah you're going to hear about it but when it's a small tiny game that no one's ever heard of um, yeah it gets banned now games get banned for different reasons <coughs> I know someone that recently got banned because their games were troll games which yeah I can understand um, to a certain extent, I still think that everyone should be free to put what they want on the internet. But, you know, I get why they would take an angle at banning something like a troll game. But when it comes to the reason why I got banned, um, it was weird. I mean, like I said, I, it wasn't my whole account. And, and Steam were actually quite good about it. Uh, so that's a good thing. But it was still a bit of a blow and a bit bizarre. Um, as to why it got banned. So, a little bit of a backstory if you don't know who I am. Um, I'm Nick. I used to make um, sleazy exploitation and weird um, low budget horror films. Um, did it for about 15 years. Had some small success with it. Um, some, you know, US distribution, a film play at Cannes Film Festival. Um, <clears throat> and my, back, my background on YouTube was a lot of promoting my horror movies and collecting horror movies so I was really invested in it um, but as I got older I'm now in my early 40s I've got a family um, I can't really go out and shoot as much and I st still still a lot of life left in some of these projects I shot because I shot so much stuff over 15 years um, I decided to start turning a lot of my content into interactive games FMV games interactive films and um it's been successful like people really are digging into it <clears throat> and I'm enjoying doing it learning lots as I go and that's what I'm gonna be doing a lot on this YouTube channel sharing what I've learned um, so yeah <clears throat> so I released my first game on Steam back in October uh, violent vicar and immediately after I finished that I started working on a second game um, and I did this and it was called um, sinister vibrations now this was based on a film that I'd shot back in 2013, but we had loads of technical issues, and uh, basically a lot of the hard drive that a lot of the footage was stored on was lost for years. And then I went back to it in 2017, started to carve it into a film, and my life went a bit crazy that year. And in 2018, I <coughs> finally like put something out there um, based on this footage. It was called um, Strange Vibes at the time. And um, I'd basically got some extra additional footage shot from YouTubers such as Cool Dude, Sean C. Phillips, and um, Chan Walrus. And it was now like three stories intertwined. So there was one about a guy um, giving you job advice, another one about a young woman, a mysterious job interview um, that keeps getting more and more sinister as it plays out. And it also in a cutting with um, video footage, uh, VHS footage of a. Um, pop star uh, from the 80s talking about his career as it's like failing and showing music videos and um, as a film it kind of worked but I wasn't never that happy with it um, released I sold like a handful of copies on DVD and Blu-ray um, and I put it online for a, about a month or so and then it came down and I thought I'd have another crack at it later on and when I started this game dev thing I had so much footage to do with this and because of it being free intertwining stories uh, it would work so much better as a game uh, so I carved it into this game Sinister Vibrations and added loads of unseen footage and the idea of the game you'll see on the screen as I put it on here is this three videotapes each videotape is a different part of a different story so the different ways you navigate through the film the different outcomes you'll get and the story will change each time you play through. Uh, you always get to see, and there's no game overs, it's just like, you know, you cater 
your experience via which tapes you pick in which order um you know and so there's there's hidden scenes and there's multiple endings and stuff like that it's it's, it's you know a fun little experience put it up on itch.io um because of um <clears throat> you know struggling I, I can only afford to put one game on steam at a time um you know the fees cost me a little bit so it's like take it one at a time um so i put it up on itch.io at the same time i had a game out on steam and um yeah it did really well with that i had over 100 downloads at first and people started doing YouTube videos and Twitch streams for it. And yeah, I was getting really positive feedback. So after that, I went on to make another game, um, which, you know, was called Fiendish Thieves, which is one that's recently come out and was doing really well. Um, but obviously it was, I'd got the money together. It was time for me to put my second game on Steam. You know, I was trying to get one a month. Um, so I'd done one in October. So my November game was going to be, um, Sinister Vibrations. Now the feedback I'd had from the game so far was probably the best out of all the three games I'd done because people really did dig how this was an interactive feature film and there was all sorts of hidden hidden stuff like music videos and bizarre combinations you could do with the tapes. Um, so yeah, so I submitted it to Steam um, and was excited that I was going to get my second game on Steam and it was one that's been getting good feedback. So I thought, great, it's a bigger platform, should get a bigger audience. This could be one that could do really well. Um, so normally when you submit a game to Steam, it normally takes a couple of days and um, you get your store page live and then um, they fairly, fairly quick at another couple of days to like look at your actual build. This one took a bit longer than usual, which I thought was a bit bizarre. Um, I submitted it on, I think it was like the Monday, and by the Friday, I still hadn't heard anything back. And I'd messaged Steam a few times, and they're saying, oh, yep, yeah, okay, we're, we're on this, it does take a few days. Then on the Friday, I got a message to say, yeah, um, it is taking longer, but because your game has sexual content in it, um, <clears throat> this will take, a little bit longer than usual and now my game does have some sexual content in it but not in a, a graphic way at all uh, it's a comedy game it's a it's, it, it, the game is more of a comedy than a horror it's a comedy horror musical uh, fmv game um so yeah there is some sexual content to it but no nudity no graphic sex um nothing really vile it's, there's an implied sex scene uh with a couple of facial expressions and uh there's <coughs> the game prominently features a vibrator now the vibrator is not used in a sexual manner it's used as a comedy device to um freak out someone at a job interview and then also used briefly as a weapon um so they're the they're the only two bits of sexual content in this game. It's nothing graphic. It's all played for laughs and and shocks, and it's not really anything to worry about when you see what sort of contents in some AAA games and um, some you know weird hentai games and other stuff that's on Steam. You know, there's full on sex sim simulators on Steam. This is just an interactive movie that's got a couple of sex jokes and references in it. Um, so I was like, right, okay. So I cut all of the scenes in the game that featured any sexual content in them, put it into a video, and sent them that video. I said, well, this might help you review that content quicker because here's the video of all of what is the offending content in the game. As you can see, it's very tame. The game's been played on Twitch and YouTube on multiple occasions and none of the um, content creators have ever had any problems. So, you know, there you go. I mean, I had a few people on Twitch did reach out to me and say, am I safe playing this game? Because of, you know, it, it could it could violate the terms because it features a sex toy. But, I mean, like I said, it's, it's not used in a graphic way at all. It is quite, it's just it's a tame joke. And people have played it on Twitch and no one's had a problem. And same on YouTube. Um, so, you know, I said the game's been played on these platforms. It's fine. Uh, then on the Monday evening, just before I was about to go to bed, so it's about like 10 to 12 at night, I get an email basically declaring that the game's been banned, that they're not going to accept it. They're retiring it from um, their catalogue. And, yeah, the game's been banned outright. They were good. They weren't... They didn't, they didn't 
ban me. They were quite apologetic and very apologetic in their message, and they gave me my submission feedback straight away. Um, like I said, it took a couple of days, but it literally came back to me like as soon as he said they were doing it, it was back in my PayPal, and then I just put it back onto Steam and put my next game on there, Fiendish Thieves. Um, now, yeah, it was it was a blow. Um, obviously, they didn't offer any sort of like um, censorship advice, which I'm quite happy about because I have very strong views on censorship. So I don't want them to say cut this, this, and this, and then you can we can release your game. They didn't do any of that. They just said your game's banned. It falls under the category video pornography. <laughs> and that made me laugh a lot because of <laughs> essentially they're calling me a pornographer so that's another one I can add to my belt <laughs> that I'm now a pornographer but yeah I mean it was it was a blow but I had to just take it on the chin um, now I mean the beauty of what I do uh, I mean obviously game development takes a long time I've shot these films many years ago I've got all the footage um, so all the money was spent on the game a long time ago on the content and it's now just the time that I put into it myself to make these make these games so it's not like I'm at a financial loss because of it um, all I've really lost is the time I've put into the game um, and you know people that can still get the game on itch it's still available on itch.io but I would have loved for people on a bigger platform like Steam to experience my game. Um, but then I'm also playing, I can now play on the, the notoriety of having a game banned on Steam. So, you know, I mean, I'm six months into my game dev journey, career, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> things are going quite well. People are responding to my games. They're getting played on YouTube and Twitch. I'm getting a small following. Um, you know, I'm not making loads of money. I'm barely making money out of it at the moment. Hopefully one day I'll have enough content out there to bring me an income in. But the way I'm going at the moment, for someone that's been involved in this for six months and already have four games out in the in the internet, on the in the world and more to come and people responding to these games and enjoying how quirky and weird they are, then yeah, you know, I'm winning. So the fact that I can now say, Yeah, well, amongst these games is one that's been banned yeah that's great a bit of notoriety and <clears throat> so yeah i mean these things happen you just got to take it on the chin and keep going Um one thing we've learned about this and one thing you can take from this if you're going to have nudity or sex in your game make sure it's not live action uh, i mean basically they said it because because it was depictions of real people in sexual situations they deem it as video pornography um so yeah, bizarre, but I suppose what, what can you do? You know, um, it's one of them. So I'll just have to um, deal with it. Um, I've got some more risky game, risky content that I can turn into games that I've decided for in the future. Now all of those games with like sexual content and nudity and stuff in them, they will be Patreon exclusive games because I've set up a Patreon to help me do this. So um, any sort of graphic games I make um, sexually or nudity maybe even some of super extreme violence I'll just do them as Patreon exclusives so it gives me you know an incentive people can uh, support me for to get those games um, but yeah I mean it was sad I mean when you look at how wrong some of these games are that are on Steam and how offensive they are and this this just being like a quirky comedy game game yeah yeah it's a, it's upsetting but you know never mind it happens so that's how i got a game banned on steam so yeah if you like listening to me waffle about this little story um please click subscribe um or like you know and please consider um supporting me on patreon um and yeah just loads more um fmv game content to come out there uh this channel did start out as a horror channel like 15 years ago and yeah i will still uh, put some movie and uh, horror content out on the channel also i made a documentary about the youtube movie community that is still coming um it's going to be out 
hopefully in the next couple of months so yeah once again thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and um i'll catch you all soon um, with some more game dev videos see you later guys bye